Alphaday and welcome to another episode of the Side Quest. And today I'm going to be taking a break from all of the Illinois beers, Midwest beers that I've had recently and I'm going to head to the East Coast to try something that's been really hyped up and that is Julius by Treehouse. Now Julius by Treehouse is an American IPA with notes of peach, mango, passion fruit, and a melange of citrus. If you are in craft beer communities on Reddit, or if you follow a lot of craft beer on like Instagram, you'll probably notice that Treehouse gets mentioned a lot. And to be honest, I think on the craft beer subreddit, it's every day there's going to be a um, post about Treehouse or pictures, and I decided I need to try it out. Mainly because it's like a regular beer it's not like a one-off it's not limited quantity but you can only get it in massachusetts where this uh, beer is brewed so you need to know somebody that's going to go get it and have it sent to you so i did i traded with someone from reddit i sent them some pure project stuff and they in turn sent me some treehouse stuff i got julius green and uh tree sap i think it's called other two are, i think are double ipas and i'm probably gonna drink that not as a side quest episode probably just with friends because i know a few other people uh, a couple friends here that want to try that beer as well but today i'm going to be drinking julius and uh, i don't know um maybe this is going to be the beer that changes my mind about ipas uh the last ipa i had american ipa i had was the bell's two-hearted and although it was a pretty good beer, great aroma, it was still on the bitter side. So I don't know how I'm going to react to this. Maybe if, they're, if this tastes great, maybe I'll be converted into IPAs. Or maybe I'll start being more adventurous with my IPA selection. Uh, but let's pour this out. Let's smell this. Let's taste this. And I can't wait. Super hyped. And I'll see you right after this. great pour right off the bat when I was pouring this beer you can really get that nice citrusy aroma coming off of the of the beer just just from the pour itself it's kind of wafting into the air uh, but let's take a look at this the head was not that bad it wasn't that much maybe half a uh, half a finger's worth and the color is like a nice straw orange juice like color like yeah, it's like pretty much looks like orange juice. It looks great. Um, it's super hazy, as you can tell. Can't see right through it, but that's just gonna make me um, I'm more excited to try it. So let's give this a nice, good smell. Like the other IPAs, it has a really nice citrusy uh, smell, aroma going to it. A lot of like orange notes, citrus notes. Maybe like pineapple, like a nice pineapple, it's like a sour-ish uh, citrus type of smell. I don't know. Yeah, it smells good. Uh, but let's hope it tastes as good as it smells. Uh, so let's uh, drink this up. Cheers. Okay, first impression. Beer is not that bad. Uh, it's like a medium bodied beer. Goes on the tongue really well, nice and smooth. It's not as bitter as I was expecting it to be. It's like a medium bitterness. Uh, I'm not sure if this is like on the same level as the pale ale, like the Sierra Nevada pale ale. Uh, but it's not too bad. It's not too much where I'm just like, blah, gotta like pour it out or just it's gonna be a hard time to drink it. It's still bitter, but it's not too much. Like the citrus notes are on the smell. I can't really get it on the taste. I don't get any of the other notes like peach or mango or passion fruit. Uh, but other than that, it still tastes like an IPA. 
not a bad IPA though. I, I like this one better because it has like the bitterness of a pale ale at this point. Not too bad. I can see why a lot of people really like this beer. Uh, I can see why it's that that hyped, mainly because it it is it goes down great. But it's is it better than the Two Hearted? Uh, I think it's probably on par. It's not. It's not better. I don't think I can drink like a whole six uh, six pack of this or a four pack because it's a it's a pint. But overall, I like this beer. It's not it's not too bitter, and for an IPA, I wouldn't mind uh, drinking another one. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Not a bad IPA.